So trimming the rails off of your surfboard is actually a really simple task and there's a few methods that we will go over here. Now you can do all of this by hand just using a flush cut saw but that is labor intensive. You're going to get a bit of a workout. So what we like to use is either a jigsaw or if you have one, a multi-tool like this with a flush cut attachment. So with the multi-tools flush cut attachment, what this allows you to do is reference the blade on the deck and cut through the rail so you don't have very much material left to trim off. So. So as you can see with the multi-tool, you actually get a very close to the deck cut. Now with that being said, you do run the risk of digging into your deck and ruining all of your hard work. So it is a good option, but it may not be the safest option. Now another option is just a jigsaw. Now just be warned that with the blade that sticks down so much deeper than the rail, you don't want to get too close to your deck, otherwise you may dig in. So you definitely won't be able to get as close with a jigsaw as you can with a multi-tool. So here you can see how close we got with the multi-tool, it's essentially flush. Whereas with the jigsaw, we've still got about a centimeter of material to remove. Now, removing the material, I like to use a block plane. And we just set it quite aggressive and we just take shavings until it comes down. Now it will take a while, but in all honesty, it's quite, uh, quite therapeutic. Now to make sure that you're getting the correct uh, slope on your rail here, reference the heel of your plane on your board and only have the blade at a nice skewed angle hitting the rail itself. That way you're basically bringing the rail to match the deck. All right, so that's it. A very quick and short video on how to trim your rails flush to your deck. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.